Psst. Hey. Psst. Hey, kid. Do you wanna power some LEDs? All right, guys. <laughs> We learned a bit about different types of LEDs and how to diffuse them. So now it's time to learn how to power them. And this video is all about that. Powering LEDs in your props and costumes. There are different types of batteries and sizes and uh, what is voltage and uh, what are amperes and how do we determine how long will a battery last us? Let's go over this with some understandable real world examples. There are many different types of batteries, but they all have a few properties in common. For example, voltage. That's just how strong the electricity that the battery supplying is. It's measured in volts. Electricity is just flow of electrons, so the higher the voltage, the stronger the stream. Current. That's the amount of electricity a battery can provide you at one given time. It's kind of like the width of a river. Um, a wider river will be able to accommodate more flow. And bigger batteries, generally speaking, will be able to power more things at once. Current is measured in amperes. And capacity. That's how long they last, measured in ampere hours. That's like how large our water tank is, how many hours of this flow it can store. With that out the way, let's look at the usual suspects. First, there's the humble coin cell battery. It's small, but in a good way. That's what she said. In cosplay and prop making, often we don't have that much space to play around with, so small is useful. It supplies 3 volts, so you can power one or a few single LEDs directly. The smaller the battery is physically, obviously the less power it can store, so there's no surprise that this tiny battery can only store us a couple of hundred milliampere hours of 3 volt power. Sadly, these batteries are meant for like watches, hearing aids and other low load devices, so if you connect many LEDs at once, you will see a very short lifespan. Second up, 1.5 volt disposable batteries. They come in different sizes, but let's focus on AA and AAA. Both of these supply 1.5 volts. A typical AAA battery contains around 1000 milliampere hours and AA contains around 2400 milliampere hours of 1.5 volt energy. These are the cheapest and the most available batteries out there. Need more than 1.5 volts? Combine a few batteries with these handy battery holders. No soldering required. Easy peasy. Third, the 9 volt battery. This one is a bit of a trickster. A 9 volt battery is actually 6 quadruple A batteries in a single package, kinda like a battery holder. They're pricey, but very convenient, even though they don't last long. They offer us a meh worthy 500 milliampere hours of 9 volt power. Fourth, USB power bank. These are super handy because they're rechargeable and they have some circuitry in them, so they supply a steady 5 volts. They come in different sizes and capacities, and they're perfect if you want to use them with digital LEDs because these supply 5 volts, LEDs are 5 volts, so it's very convenient, but you can use these to power other projects as well. Now we know what we're dealing with, so let's take some LEDs and try to light them. We got single LEDs, digital LEDs, and some LED strips. These should cover most of your lighting needs. A single LED typically draws 20 milliamperes of 3 volt power. That means it will consume 20 milliampere hours of your battery capacity in an hour. Here I am using a coin cell battery with a battery holder to power a single LED. This setup will require some soldering, but it's hard to beat its simplicity and size. To get the duration of how long the battery will last, we divide the battery capacity by the load we are loading and we get the amount of hours. Even though this battery offers us only 220 milliampere hours, it will still be able to power the LED for around 11 hours. That's because LEDs are just so crazy efficient. If space is not an issue, I recommend something like this to power your LEDs. A AA battery holder. Some battery holders come with built-in power switches, so they're really convenient. When we connect our batteries one after another, also known as serial, their capacity stays the same, but voltage is added. That means that these two AA batteries become a 3 volt power pack, and with 2400 mAh capacity, they can power a single LED 120 hours. Or if we're comparing it to the coin cell battery, we can connect 10 LEDs, not one, and have them both light up for more than 10 hours. Very nice. Now, addressable digital LEDs. My favorite. These require 5 volts and a controller like an Arduino running some code to animate them. Let me know if you think I should make a video on how to set one up. Anyways, after a quick Google search, we know that a single digital LED at its peak will consume 60 milliamperes of 5 volt power. In actual use though, when we're mixing colors and doing animations, it's gonna be much, much less. Maybe like 20 milliamperes, but uh, let's be generous and calculate with this 60 milliampere peak figure in mind. This ring has 12 LEDs. That means that the total power draw will be 12 times 60, which is 720 milliamperes. 
the controller is so low power that we can pretty much leave it out. This power bank stores 10,000 mAh. At full charge, it should power our cute little ring for around 13 hours. But like I said, this is assuming that all we do is burn it at full brightness. If we mix colors and do some animations, this power bank will last us days. Generally, with LEDs like this, it's just so much easier to use USB power banks, uh, mostly because, you know, both are 5 volts. But you could technically use disposable batteries to power them, though honestly, I don't know why you would. Also bear in mind that USB power banks and batteries in general have current limits. 1 ampere ports can power 1000 mAh worth of LEDs and bigger, 2.1 ampere capable power banks can drive 2100 milliamperes worth of LEDs at once, safely. However, if you want to power many hundreds of LEDs, you won't be able to use a simple power bank. It gets a bit tricky and I'll discuss this in an upcoming video about powering large numbers of LEDs. Last but not least, 12 volt LED strips. These consist of segments of 3 LEDs. Each segment draws around 20 milliamperes of 12 volt power. If you're using RGB strips, then it's going to be 20 mA per color active. Now, since space is at the premium in props and costumes, cosplayers tend to use these compact 9V batteries to power their 12V lights. What? Yeah, you can do that. The LEDs won't shine as bright as they can, and these batteries are expensive and small, so they won't last long. But you can use them, there's no problems or damage. Just attach a battery connector to your strip, plug in, and you're good to go. This strip, consisting of 5 segments, would be powered by this 9V battery for around 5 decent hours at this reduced brightness. Now this is hardly optimal. If you don't want to use expensive 9V batteries or you don't want to leave any brightness on the table, AA batteries to the rescue. You can take a couple of 4 AA battery packs and connect them in serial for a whopping 2400 mAh of 12V power. This baby will power the same 5 segment LED tape from before for 24 hours at full brightness. No compromises. And there you have it. I hope this cleared some things up for you and maybe inspired you to light something up of your own. I have more videos like this in the works already, but I'm still curious to know what kind of content you would like to see me cover or produce. So um, if you have any questions about this video or any upcoming ones or suggestions and ideas, please leave them down below in the comments. All that being said, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.